So the Bank of Canada, am I right? I think like a lot of Canadians, we're a little flabbergasted by their decision to hold firm at 5%. But what's driving their decision? It could be that the economy is resilient and continues to support overall demand for housing. Since they wanna help alleviate high housing prices, increased demand is a bad sign in their eyes. But we also have to look at prices. TREB reported a barely noticeable increase between this February and last of just 0.4%. It's so measly, it's hardly worth mentioning. The point is, this is partially what the Bank of Canada wanted to happen. So what gives with not reducing rates? It's complicated. First, let's look at demand. Is it really up? Yep. Home sales through Treb's MLS system in February increased 17.9% year over year. Even when we take the effects of the leap year into account, it still translates into an increase of 12.3%. The Bank of Canada is nervous to drop interest rates when demand continues to rise. They know increased demand will put upward pressure on prices and are worried lower interest rates will make things worsen. But hold on, despite demand, new listings were also up in February by an even greater annual rate than sales, which mean buyers had more choices, keeping prices from rising. Remember that 0.4%? For the Bank of Canada, it's not just about demand. They also view shelter prices like mortgages, property taxes, condo fees, and the like as the main contributor to inflation and feel shelter price inflation remains elevated and is likely to persist. So it still feels too volatile for them to start dropping interest rates just yet. Now let's consider why people are buying despite high rates. According to Trev's president, Jennifer Pierce, demand for housing could be related to home buyers minimizing mortgage payments by saving larger down payments, shopping less expensive home types, and choosing less popular neighborhoods in the GTA. These are all solid strategies to offset interest rates. But let's not forget, interest rates aren't the only thing that's high. So is rent. That means there's more first-time buyers saying no to high rents and yes to investing in their own homes. At the same time, despite the announcement to limit the number of foreign students coming into Canada, population growth continues at a record pace. Look, experts believe the Bank of Canada will start dropping interest rates mid-year. Also, home building in the GTA is making meaningful progress, helping meet demand for home ownership needs. Overall, things are starting to feel a little more balanced. A lot of yin and yang going on here. So what should you do? Buyers get mortgage pre-approval and start shopping while prices are low-ish. The market's seeing increased listings now, and despite growing demand, it's still leading more towards a buyer's market, keeping prices pretty flat. Although the lender will lock you into today's higher mortgage rates, for about 90 days, you're entitled to a better rate when they drop. Sellers, watch for the rate drop, as this will flood the market with even more buyers, helping balance the scales in your favor with increasing prices. Still have questions? We're always here if you need us.